Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and I'm trying a different way of making videos today. So I'm using my little, it's like a little arm that I hook to the side of my table when I wanna do a tutorial and it comes right in front and then I can like crochet in front of it. And then it actually does have a cord for a light. But I feel like that light's bright enough and I was hoping to eliminate the glare on my glasses, which does not seem to be happening. I can't get my chair any higher. Well, it is what it is, that's what I have. Okay, so uh, two things I'm gonna talk about in this video. One, I'm gonna finally talk about the different kind of yarn bowls I use, where I got them from. If I can, I'll post a link in the description where you could get them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, that kind of jazz. And then um, also I just finally finished a project I started a year ago. I know. Okay, so I would say, let's see here. The first, I'll just start with the first ever yarn bowl I got because I'm gonna be honest, it's probably my favorite. I could have stopped there. Um, this is the yarn bowl. Uh, it was purchased off of Amazon. Nope, I lied actually. I thought for sure it was Amazon. It's a darn good yarn, interestingly enough. I got this as a present from somebody, which is why I thought it was Amazon. Um, but it is a very sturdy yarn bowl. I wish I could, you know, it has a nice thick flat base. Um, it has this little loop-de-doo for the yarn to go through. Um, I usually just put it on the floor near where I'm working and, um, oh here, I have yarn in it. Um, and it just comes out like that. Now I will say sometimes the yarn gets like caught up in here if I pull out a lot. It's not doing it now, of course. And then it kind of gets snagged on there. So some I don't really love this loopity do. Um, I have a tendency to not use it and just have the yarn just come out of the top. Um, yeah, so I got this from my mother-in-law. This is the very first yarn bowl I ever got. Darn good yarn. So I'll look to see if I can find a link for it. But like I said, it's really firmly weighted. I've never really had a problem with it falling over or um, I guess at this point, my, I don't have any pets and uh, my kids are usually pretty careful about being annoying to me or whatnot and not um, disturbing my work area. Okay, but yeah, it is heavy. It's definitely the heaviest one that I have. Um, the next one I got were these. I have two of these. One of them I actually have stuffed full of stuffing right now. Um, Snapwear Yarn Tainer. I bought these at Joann's. They, these are two little fat jugs. The other one's over there. Uh, they do have ta a taller, skinnier one where you could probably put a, like a red heart skein and center pull. Easy open and close lid, smooth gar grommet so it won't snag yarn. Easy wide mouth, makes it easy to drop yarn in. The only thing that I don't like about this is that once you've started a project and dropped a ball in, you cannot take it out until it's done because it goes through this hole and then it's connected to your project. Um, so if you are changing colors or holding two colors together, I think sometimes it's a bit of a fuss. I will say it's taken some beating, like I have a dent here and then look at that side of it. It's all like crunched up but it's pretty pretty good condition otherwise. It does its job. Just have to make sure that the yarn is, this handle's not getting in the way. Um, is it my favorite? No, I pretty much never use it. And the other one, like I said, I put full of stuffing. That's how often I, or how I never use these. Um, and then it does screw off the lid. Okay, so I do have two of these. I have no idea how much they cost. I'll see what I can dig around on Joanne. I'll put a link in the description from Joanne. I've never seen these anywhere else. I'm sure they have them other, place, other places, but I've never seen it anywhere else. That's all I've seen. Um, I think this is the next yarn bowl. I got this off of Amazon for sure. I even once gave it as a giveaway. Um, the cool thing about this one is if you, I think it's knitting needles. They want you to stick in there like when you're done knitting or something. And this has um, a different kind of spout. Again, I don't have a tendency to use these. I just let my yarn come out. 
I will say this one has been knocked around. Her horn came off. Do you see that? And then my husband had to help, or he re-glued it. So, I mean, it is breakable. She's cute though, hey? Um, this was like 10 bucks. I wanna say the Darn Good Yarn one was like $24.99 or $34.99. Kind of expensive in my humble opinion. Um, this was cheap. It was like $15 or less, but um, it is breakable. It is breakable. Um, I, when I crochet in the living room, I have like the front door in our living room has like a three by five tile section by the front door. And then it goes right into carpet. And what happened is I had stuck this on the top shelf of my yarn cart. Cause I keep a yarn cart by my part of the couch. And one of my daughter's friends bumped it, knocked it to the floor, broke the horn off. Um, but this is, I mean, it's nice. I like that. One thing I did like about this one over this one is that it does come up more. It like, yeah, I don't know. It's more inside. Now, it, I do think these can only take so big of a skein of yarn. Um, I don't even know that I have any that are so big right now. Like if you were to just take your yarn and ball it right up, you for sure could not get like a real big skein's worth of yarn in here. Um, I've balled up mandala cakes and because this one goes in like, like that other one just goes straight up, I've not been able to fit a full skein, a really big skein of yarn, okay? Now your regular normal couple hundred gram balls or whatever, or a couple hundred yards, you're gonna be able to fit those in there. But to solve that problem, I have this yarn ball. This is a Bella Coco yarn ball. Um, I don't know that, or Crochet Society, I don't know if they have it, any of them left. I ordered this on clearance. Like she called her, she called it a range. She released a range where you got a bag, you could get a hook set, good, all kinds of riffraff. And I got this. And this was like, when I got it, I only paid 20. Of course, shipping and handling and the change of the money. Um, I don't know that you put knitting needles in there. I just think they're there. That would be way too small. That's like a, maybe an eight or below would fit through there. Um, it still has some of these loop de doos Like I said, I don't like these loop de doos I typically don't use them. Um, you can fit a giant yarn ball in here. You can fit two size balls in here. So like when I was doing Crochet Society, um, that blanket that she had us do for the advent calendar last Christmas... Um, I would put two or three of the skeins of yarn that I were using for that specific square in here. They didn't really tangle up that much, I guess. I just got lucky. But, I mean, this is an option for a really big ball, but it is shallower. You see that? And so if you're really pulling your yarn, going fast, I did have one jump out once. Um, so this was about 20. I don't know. I can put a link to Crochet Society. I don't know if they still have any of her bowls. They're cute. I don't re even remember if you got a different choice. Maybe pink. You could also choose pink. But yeah, I want to measure this across. You would think I have a measuring tape somewhere nearby. I don't. I should. So that I could tell you how far across it is. I have all kinds of riffraff around here. Um, but this, I mean, definitely is bigger than the average bowl. You could fit one in there. Okay, so this was a Crochet Society yarn bowl. This yarn bowl, um, I painted myself. Mm -hmm. um, we have this place called Fireside, where you can get all these ceramics that are empty painted, and then you can paint it yourself. So um, it's as tall as this one taller than my darn good yarn actually just a hair taller um again it does have the thing for the knitting needle to stick in there um the loopity do is here um and then i chose how i wanted to paint it i actually made a different one a really long time ago further away than this one where i painted it purple i think with teal polka dots and my sister like it liked it and she took it so then i painted i went there again another time and I made myself another one. I mean, it's really not that crazy. But if you go to one of those ceramic, paint them, and then they 
they burn them or fire them for you and then they'll call you like two weeks later and you can go pick up your stuff that's where i got that one this one was more expensive because that kind of a joint i think it was like 30 or 40 dollars um and then the last yarn bowl i have here um is super cute but i don't love it um this one i got as a gift and i'm very appreciative and it's super cute it's a little llama uh this was purchased at hobby lobby i want to say it's like 15 dollars or less the problem with this yarn is it's not stable. One, it's a really small hole. So see how small that is compared to the other ones. So she really can't take that big of a yarn ball in here. Just the little remnants. So this is like, this is like a cup, you know, a very small amount of yarn. Um, this was a premier yarn, 100 gram ball, and I balled it up or 100 gram skein. So when I'm saying that this is small, I mean, just think about that. It's the size of my hands. I really should have been measuring. And you would think with all those Crochet Society tape measures, I have one nearby, but I don't. <sighs> well, I mean, here's the thing of chapstick. Do you see how small that is? Okay, so anyway, now I'm, you're in, my I'm in your face. That's how small of a yarn ball fits in there. Um, but she's also really heavy on this side of her body. So if sh she easily knocks over, um, I would not put this anywhere breakable on a, like keep it on carpeting because she will tip over and you don't want her to break. I actually feel nervous holding her because in here, this floor is tile. Um, so that, that is really all the yarn bowls I have. This one's from Hobby Lobby. Um, so she's mostly a decoration. I put um, a little ball of yarn in her and I stick her on one of those shelves and that's normally where she lives. She, um, she cannot be used for her purpose because if you pull too far and you get, you know how sometimes they can get stuck in there in this little loopity do, which is why I don't like to use them and you give it a big pull, she'll fall over. So she's just, she's just cute. That's all that she's good for. So that is really all the yarn bowls I have. But I would say this one I keep in my crochet cart in the living room and I use it all the time. A lot of times I fill it with riffraff, like a chapstick, like a darning needle, like pins or whatever. And then I have to take it all out to use it. This is the number one that I use uh, in the living room. And then this is the number one I, one I use by my work area. If I'm working with more than one yarn, I like to use this one, or if I'm working with a real big skein of yarn. Um, and this one I stopped using as much because she has been broken and she's all glued up. Um, so do I, oh, and I never, I never use these anymore. They're only storage. I wanna say that these were closer to 20 bucks each. I'm not kidding you. I had a gift card though, and that's why I bought them. Um, another thing that I've done before, and I don't have an example here, but I've talked about it before, is you can get a binder clip. I wonder if I have one in this little thing up here. Yep, I do actually. You can take any old bowl you want. It doesn't have to be a yarn bowl. And you can take a binder clip and you can use this. So like pretend this is a, a cereal bowl or a mixing bowl and just clip that on the side and then run your yarn through there. So you could get one of these and make any bowl a yarn bowl. Um, you don't have to have that loop de doo In fact, I'm gonna be honest, that loop de doo has always been more trouble for me than it's worth. I've never really loved them. Um, yeah, this is a whole thing of, I got this actually empty, no supplies in it, at Walmart. This cute little thing. I want to say this was like $5 or less. I love containers and I love putting things in containers. Um, so I bought that, but I had one of my little binder clips in there. So hopefully that little intro or suggestions about yarn bowls or whatever, um, you know, helps whoever. I can't remember the name of the gal that wanted me to talk about yarn bowls. Um, you can use a lot of other things too. Like I said, you don't necessarily have, you can use a Tupperware bowl and poke a hole in the lid. You don't have to go spend $30, $40 on a yarn bowl, but they are cute. And if somebody wants to get you a present, it's a nice thing 
to get and then um you know you're you, they feel like oh because you know, sometimes people want to get you something i'm kind of one of those persons that wants to get something for someone and i like to have an idea and so that is a good idea you can give someone um for you know a reasonable i guess twenty dollars or less isn't really a thing anymore is it it's like forty dollars or less you can get one of these now um, I'm going to show you the project I just finished making. I started this a really, really long time ago. I've been using the Crochet Society yarn. Um, I, I bought one of these metal rings that is used for macra, macrame. Is that what that's called? Um, from Hobby Lobby. And I crocheted, I single crocheted around it. And then I hung this yarn down below it. It's a bulky yarn. And then I just, today, just today, I put these beads in it. And then I made some kind of webbing. This is by no means a nice, beautiful dream catcher. It's my own version of something. And then I used these beads to make this little hanger. And then I was, I wanted this to look like flowers, these little popcorn stitches with a little green underneath it. Yeah, I started this project literally a year ago. I saw something like this hanging at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to make it. All I had to do today was string this stuff up I used a darning needle and kind of looped it through on the back through the stitches. And then this is where I started it. I pulled out a really long amount and then I webbed it and then I came back up to the top and then I put these beads on it and then I tied it together. Maddie will be real happy to finally have this hang on her wall. Um, yeah, so it's cute. It's a cute little project that um, I'm happy to have done. And for some reason, these beads are just sticking out backwards, but maybe once it's on a wall, it will um, look better. Um, the beads that I used are these wooden beads that I got from Bella Coco. I'm sure she wanted me to do something else with them, one with Crochet Society. Um, I've also debated on painting them. I thought that would be cute, but they do have little splinters that come through. I noticed that when I was using them, um, it started splitting the yarn. A little bit of a splinter in there would catch on the yarn when I pulled it through. All right, so that is the end of this video. I don't know if I'm going to honestly stay here for multiple reasons. I mean, I do like you being able to see the yarn behind me, but I'm not able to get my camera up high enough, and I'm going to show you why. Because right now you're seeing my double chin. If I can get my yarn camera up or my camera up higher, then you see less of my double chin. Well, you're just seeing a lot of it really today. Um, I do have a different kind of camera holder, but it was way too high if I stuck it on the, ch the table because I was going to set it up here on the table, which is why I ended up using this one. Now I got to put you guys back on the table. It has a clamp. So I ended up using this one because the other one, um, now I'm crooked, the other one was just too high, you know, this one. So I'll figure something out, but I do know that it's nice for you guys to be able to see all that. Plus you can see the, the projects that I made up there. That's cute, right? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's a new new place, new section. Um, the cool thing about this place is I have that door, that pocket door, and I can pull it shut. And then um, I have, I can be putting a little sign out there that, tells the family shh i'm recording all right guys thanks for watching and subscribing thanks for liking and sharing my videos if you're interested in any of those yarn bowls i'll try to put links in the description to the places where you can get some like those i absolutely recommend a yarn bowl it's fun it's a good gift for people to get you but this honestly is my favorite my first ever darn good yarn okay happy crafting bye